Greetings everyone. This is Shai with you. I hope by now all of you are registered on to charts.vtrender.com and uh, are enjoying okay, the market profile and the options uh, suite okay, which we have up for you. I wanted to take a moment over here and uh, demystify uh, the world of market profile to you, especially okay, the kind of market profile which we use at vtrender and which we have on uh, charts.vtrender.com. Uh, this is okay where you go in and right at the top of the menu, okay, you click on to market profile and uh, you would be getting uh, the market profile charts all to yourself. Now, I wanted to point out a few things, okay, which we have in this uh, profile chart. Uh, those basics of market profile are covered here under user manual. And uh, if you can just quickly go through, you would have a lot of details uh, on what the market profile can do. I just wanted to illustrate a few things to you. So when you zoom in, you have an option of, uh, so you can either merge them or you can split them, right? So this is okay, a split version of uh, the market profile. And in this split version, uh, you would be getting the quantity, the POC, the VWAP, et cetera, right over here. As well as when the market is live, uh, this particular section live on the right hand side would be open to you and keep giving you a lot of information. But I wanted to draw your attention to the codings, okay, which we have uh, within these letters. So for those who are not aware, uh, the letter A would be that 30 minute period from 9.15 to about 9.45. Uh, B would be 9.45 to 10.15. Uh, C would be 1015 to 1045 and it goes on. So this is the profile and the grade section over here would be marking your value area. Uh, this green over here, this horizontal line is your VWAP of the entire session. And the pink over here is the point of control uh, or the largest volume traded during the session. Now, both the green and the, you would see a lot of colors over here. Okay. Now, these are mentioned in the user manual also. But quickly, I wanted to let you know that the pink over here and the green over here represents the POC and VWAP of the TPO, that 30 minute period, right? So, green is a code, okay, we are using for VWAP. So, green over here would be the VWAP and Pink over here would be the POC, the POC of the profile. So over here would be where the TPO opened. And um, you would also see a small asterisk over here, which would be where the TPO closed. Just in case you want some zoomed in information of that 30 minute period, the POC, the VWAP, the open, the close, the highs and the lows of the PPO you can easily make out over here are all visible information for you, right? Now, within this also, you would be getting a, a fluorescent color green, which is uh, this particular one over here, right? Uh, this is the region where the open interest of the TPO uh, or a large open interest, okay, was traded, right? Likewise, okay, this green over here would be addition. The pink over here, the fluorescent pink, okay, would be your reduction. So you would be getting two pinks over here. If you see two pinks, the fluorescent one is the reduction of open interest. Uh, and the fluorescent green over here is the addition of open interest. The, the VWAP would be this particular green uh, where my cursor is right now, right? So just points, okay, for you to note. Uh, beyond this, you also get a weekly profile which you can easily get by clicking the w to the left hand side of the menu options uh, you would get a, a weekly which is a period between monday to friday we've added a weekly series which is when the settlement the weekly settlement begins so by clicking w s you get that period between Friday to a Thursday. So 
this particular profile okay which is here is opened up uh, the friday uh, on the friday but every single thing over here would be friday morning 9 15 and it is going to keep building till thursday 3 30 pm likewise okay you get a monthly series accumulate all data which is there okay within the month right now on the left hand side okay you would get a histogram in green which is the entire uh, volume traded during the series if you want to go in okay and get uh, the volume profile that you can get it okay over here okay uh, volume profile only is this the tpos okay go out and uh, if you want uh, the volume numbers okay to show up they can also show up okay over here this is more useful in daily profiles uh, which you move to volume okay and you if you want to know okay what is the kind of volume okay which is coming in within the profile you would be getting these volumes now remember okay i have set my settings over here to volume in terms of contracts and you can easily change that in uh, the user settings you get a number of options over here in the user settings uh, for your tpo also so i've set it okay daily for tpo of two as per the formula we have you can okay set it for one or you can set it for any any number and you can do it okay instrument wise so bank nifty fin nifty nifty options okay you can choose whatever tpo size okay which you want as well as the the volume profile display okay you can have the volume value area okay is uh, defaulted to volume based you can choose tpo based also and uh, the oi and volume data okay you can choose either in terms of contracts or the total value if you're used to total value you can use total value i prefer contracts because uh, that is how okay the national stock exchange the nse op option chain is and if you keep moving okay between nifty and bank nifty uh, viewing the market in terms of uh, contract size becomes uh, that much more easier for you to track uh, in terms of uh, a lot of instruments out on the out on the profile all right so this is the profile chart with you there's a lot of information okay with here in here uh, you can merge profiles also and the best way okay to merge profiles is okay when you see the pocs together so choose the merge profile option and the profiles okay merge up over over here right there are a number of other things okay which you can do and i would recommend okay that you go through now this is a menu option over here where a number of things are over here i'm using the base uh, there's one interesting thing over here which i wanted to point out and if you choose in the higher premium version okay uh, you open up access to just about everything okay which is there on the menu but uh, specific okay to the market profile I wanted to point out uh, a few things to you. So you have this option okay, of viewing uh, the profiles together. So you can choose a number of things over here. You can choose the Nifty and the Bank Nifty to go together side by side. You can view them. Okay. My personal preference is uh, I like to see the daily profile on the right hand side. And I like to split the profile to see how it is developing. And here, I would like to see, okay, how it is developing in terms of the series, right? So you have a merged series over here and a, a holistic view of the entire activity, okay, which you can zoom, pan out, etc. And you have a daily profile over here. So just in case you want to quickly look at what happened, okay, during the month, you can use that left-hand side section to look at where the auction is uh, compared to the entire month. And you can keep this uh, right side option open uh, to see, okay, what the current uh, daily is also doing. So it gives you a lot of context and it helps you, okay, to see the auction as it is, right? So this is a very important tool, a very important feature. It is available under Premium Plus and I would recommend, okay, that you go for it, right? So I leave it to you. I hope, okay, you go out there and you check it out and you enjoy, okay, those various uh, options, okay, which are being given to you. I keep maintaining information is a potential power. Uh, a person, okay, using the right information has always developed an edge for himself. And I do hope, okay, that you gain that edge in trading markets, right? So I leave you to it. Go ahead, check it out, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.